Hi, my name is Dave Kleber, amateur radio call sign, Kilo Bravo 3, Foxtrot, X-Ray, India. I'd like to do a quick video demonstration of the Check SR program for calibrating the NBEMS FL Digi software. The first thing you want to do is go to the FL Digi screen and then click on Help and then go down to Audio Device Information and this field here will show you what the default sound card sample rate is for the sound card that you're using. So you want to record that number and take note of that. Then what you want to do is open up the uh, Check SR software and you need to select the appropriate sound card. In my case it's the USB uh, audio codex and that's uh, that goes along with the uh, USB signal link. Uh, and then what we want to do is also select the appropriate uh, sample rate. As soon as you have that done, just click the start button. Typically you want to let this run for about three to five minutes. Uh, what you want is for these numbers to gradually stabilize, which they'll do in, in just a few minutes. And ultimately what we want to shoot for is about plus or minus one percent accuracy. And I recommend looking at the sample rate in Hertz figure here because it doesn't fluctuate quite as much as the parts per million. And as long as you're within plus or minus 410 for 1 percent accuracy, if that fluctuation isn't beyond that, then you can hit the stop button and record your figures and apply the, uh, the figures. So we're not going to let it run the full three to five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop now. And it freezes these figures. Now for the figures that we're going to use for FL Digi, we're going to be using the parts per million figures. So we have for input or receive, we have 704. And for output or for transmit, we have 255. So we'll go back to FL Digi. We're going to go to Configure and then Sound Card. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, switch to Settings. And here you'll see the blocks where we want to enter in the corrections. So what I can do is just do a cut and paste and put those figures in the appropriate boxes here. And the output for 255 goes into the transmit box. And then all you do is hit save and then close and your uh, FL Digi uh, software is now properly calibrated. This is a pretty important thing to do, especially if you're running modes like MT63 uh, that require the accuracy in order to get proper decode. Also, if you're into HF and the digital modes on HF, if you ever notice when you're in a QSO and, and uh, exchanging information back and forth with somebody and you notice that the, the signal is kind of walking up the the uh, waterfall. Uh, that's because one of the stations uh, in the in the uh, conversation is improperly calibrated, and there's an offset between the transmit and receive that each station has to keep kind of uh, making a correction for manually. So I hope you find that helpful. My call sign Kilo Bravo Three Foxtrot X Ray India at yahoo.com uh, is my email address. Feel free to drop me a line uh, if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks and 73.